And for more, we turn to our Chief International Affairs Editor, Robert Parsons, who in a previous life was a Moscow correspondent. <laughs> and yeah. Novaya Gazeta is a little bit part of the history of post-Soviet Russia. Absolutely. It was fa founded in 1993, uh, co-founded uh, by Muratov. Uh, and right from the beginning, it was one of the, the outstanding uh, Russian newspapers uh, with a commitment to facts-based journalism, to investigative journalism, which it's kept throughout. Uh, and it has to be said that Muratov uh, ha has managed to establish a reputation not just with those opposed to the regime, but with the regime as well, as being honest, committed, a, a, a real Russian. Uh, and perhaps that was, was reflected in that statement that was a rather bizarre statement put out by the, Rus the uh, Kremlin press spokesperson, uh, Dmitry Pieskov today when he congratulated Muratov and, and con on his, first of all, on his talent, on his commitment to journalism and on the prize. Uh, he, he sort of patted it aside when he heard that that, that, that had happened and said, does this mean that uh, if we have to, if we accept this award, we're going to be called foreign agents? Because this is, this is the, uh, one of the key methods that the, the Kremlin is using at the moment to repress journalism inside Russia. Just today, for instance, nine journalists, including one from the BBC Russian service, declared foreign agents, which means that they get some of their funding from abroad. They've got to go through a laborious uh, justification, or, uh, whether online or on air, uh, every time they, they do so, which puts off investors, scares people from coming too close to them. Uh, so although he was, he was joking, it was a quip with a serious edge to it. Yeah, Muratov, who uh, certainly pulls no punches. Let's listen to him reacting, part of uh, what he said to reporters. If I were on the Nobel Peace Prize Committee, I would have voted for the person that the bookmakers were counting on. But I think that person has everything ahead of him. I am referring to Alexei Navalny. <laughs> He's not going to make many friends at the Kremlin by uh, <laughs> saying that, you know, the, the jailed Kremlin critic uh, should have gotten the prize instead. Yeah, I mean, but this is just typical Dmitry Muratov. You know, he, he has led a newspaper that does not pull its punches. You know, we, we heard that reference to journalists on the newspaper who have died in the past uh, working, working on, on stories. Uh, it hasn't put the, the newspaper off. Threats to Muratov and us haven't put the, the journalists off. Anna Politkovska, uh, one of the most famous post-Soviet Russian journalists who was killed 15 years to the day yesterday for her work in exposures in, in, in Chechnya. Dmitry uh, Yuri Shikachikin, another one renowned for his investigative journal journalism, poisoned probably by radioactive su substances. You know, Nastya Baburova, uh, Stas Markyelov shot on the street. You know, it hasn't stopped uh, the newspaper from carrying on with the sort of reporting that m has brought it to the attention of the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, you, you mentioned the reaction from the Kremlin. Let's listen to the spokesperson, uh, Dmitry... Uh, um, um, Peskov. Uh, uh, Pe Peskov, because <laughs> uh, it, it, it's fascinating to hear what he says. We can congratulate Dmitry Muratov. He has constantly worked in accordance with his principles and has adhered to his ideals. He's talented and brave. It's a high appraisal, and we congratulate him. Now, if you're looking at it through Western eyes, you can dismiss that as Orwellian doublespeak, right? The Russian psyche, though, is more complex than that when, when you hear a government spokesperson say something like that. Yeah, no, it is interesting. It, it, it is a sort of, uh, you know, hats off to, to Muratov because there is a, quite clearly a degree of respect for him and for what he does, his recognition that he's honest, that it, his journalism is fact-based. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's, it, it's sort of Russia saying, well, we're batting this away. We're not too worried about it. You know, we, we're not scared to say congratulations. Uh, you know, he can be the exception to the rule, which we'll throw out to the rest of the world. Look, we have Muratov here, you know, producing Nova Gazeta three times a week. Now, how can you say that there isn't freedom of expression in Russia? Robert Parsons.